Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can integrate Flutterwave, which is a payment gateway that allows you to accept, uh, accept payment in multiple or globally in about 30 different currencies. So I'm on my Shopify dashboard here, as you can see. So what we need to do is go to settings on your Shopify dashboard, go to payments, now, after payment, we need to choose a service provider. So, or supported payment methods in here. So, click on add payment method. Go to search by provider and let's type in here Flutter Wave. So, you can see it's here a Flutter Wave Africa payments. Click on that. Now, click on it again. Now, about Flutter Wave, it says Flutter Wave app allows or offers a way to collect payment globally in over 30 currencies which is very good now let's connect it to our flutter wave so click on connect let's wait a few minutes for it to load so once this is done let's go ahead and click install app here now once that is done we want to get our API keys, which will allow us to collect payment. But before we go on live production, which is allow customers to actually pay with their credit cards, we actually need to do a test run to see that this is actually working. So what we need right now is to get our test secret key and test public key. So let's head over to our Flutterweave account to get this. So on our Flutterwave, I'm on my Flutterwave dashboard in here. So if you log in into your Flutterwave, this is what you see. Now to get our API keys, let's go to jump on to settings, API keys. Now let's copy our test API key. So the first one is your public key. Just click on copy. Let's hit on copy. And then let's head back to our Shopify account. So that's the test public key. Let's paste it in here. Now let's go for our secret key, test secret key. Copy that as well and paste that in here. Now we need to get our public key. Live public key. So let's go to live APIs and copy the public key in here let's head back please i'll put in here our public key now what you are left with is our secret key now as you can see i already have it in here but i have a little explanation to do or something for you to take note over here for the secret live secret key now for security purposes when you go on to your flutter wave dashboard on the api section you, you normally see that the secret key, you just see um, an encrypted um, code over here. Now, if you want to get your secret key, you will have to generate a new one. Flutterwave will send you an OTP to confirm it's you that is requesting for the API key. So they do this purposely for security reasons. That is why when you head back to my dashboard in here on my Shopify web, um, dashboard, you will see I've already done that and inserted my secret key and you can see it's been encrypted for security purposes because once somebody gets this, they can easily um, use your Flutterwave account. So just be mindful of this. So it's very simple. Just generate a new key. They will send you an OTP for you to generate a new secret, live secret key to be able to put into your Shopify dashboard so once that is done all you need to do is just hit on submit so i think i'm facing a bit of an issue here let me try and refresh the page so i've already um added my flutter wave um account already or oh, i've already added the api keys if you have any difficulties you can let me know in the comment section and i'll be happy to help so once this is done, we are good to go. Let's go enable test mode because we want to test it before we go live. So let's hit on activate Flutter Wave. 
and our test mode is now active as you can see in the yellow bar or banner over here so we can just go ahead and test so i'm on my shopify um, online store here so let's just check and see if the flutter wave um, test mode is actually working so let's go to view store here now let's try and buy something from the store let's click on let's go ahead this is sold out let's go to this one click on buy buy it now now when you scroll you can see there's flutter wave in here if you want to make payment with flutter wave just go to pay now let's enter some details in here go to let's enter our shipping i'm just entering some dummy text for demonstration purposes let me put in here cra poster is not needed let's go to pay now so it says our phone number is not valid okay let's put in a proper telephone number okay let's go ahead taking us to our checkout It'll take a minute to load let's see what happens yes so now we are able to see the flutter wave dashboard in here we can choose mode of payment let's maybe for a mobile money let's choose mtn let's enter a number let's go to pay now and yay you'll be directed to complete these payments let's go to proceed So we'll receive an OTP on our phones that will um, enable payment to actually go through. So yeah, the test mode is actually working for us. So yeah, that is how you integrate Flutterwave with your Shopify website. Now, when you're ready to go live, all you need to do is just go to settings, go to payment again. Now scroll down to Flutterwave. And when you are in there, you just need to turn off the test mode and click on save. And your Flutterwave payment gateway is now live. So this is how you can easily integrate Flutterwave with your Shopify account. If you found the video useful or you face any challenge, don't forget to leave your comment in the section below. I'll be happy to address it. If you found the video useful, don't forget to please like the video and also subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for joining and I hope to see you in the next video.